Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, thank you so much for joining us. And today's inspirational quote of the day is short and sweet, it's I am who I am. Hope you enjoy watching today's video. Today I'm going to be making a mixed media card and I'm going to be using some of these beautiful Spectrum Noir um, inks. So they're the water reactive dye for blending and distressing. And I've got colors Spa Blue, I've got Grasshopper, that beautiful Spring Meadows. And I'm also using a distressing by Tim Holtz and that one is Bundle Sage. So I'm going to be using some multi-techniques cardstock and also this beautiful stencil that I purchased recently from Timu. So I'm going to get started with my cardstock and my inks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come in with this piece of acetate. I'm going to pop down some of the spa blue. And I just have my little mini mister with water in it. So I'm going to just spray that up. And I want to get some ink onto my cardstock. So I think I'm going to go this side. Let's pop some of that down. And clean that off before I go in my next colour. So next I'm popping down some of that grasshopper. I'm loving these new inks that, well, new to me. I have used their markers before, the Spectrum Noir. But I've never used the inks. Let's see. I think next I'm going to use some of the bundle sage. They're all beautiful shades of green. Just a small spritz of that. I don't want too much water there. I'm just coming in and I'm mixing them. And just to get them to mix together, spraying down some more water. Now I think I'd like some more of the spa blue because I think it's got a bit lost behind. So let's see, clean this off. I love making these mixed media images. They're just, they're great fun. And if you haven't tried it, my suggestion is give it a go. You know, you don't need a whole pile of stuff. You can, you can use loads and loads of stuff, but you don't have to. So oh, there we go, and I'm just going to pick up some of that extra ink there. And 
bit more of the, let's see, grasshopper. A good bit of that down. Now I want to dry this off before I come in with, I want to use the spring meadows, but I want to dry that off first. So I'm just coming in with my heat gun and I'm going to give that a blast. First of all, I remove some of the excess, I think. Okay, that's dried back nicely. So next I'm coming in with, I guess my primary color, which is the Spring Meadows. My piece of acetate again. Look at that gorgeous color. I'm putting a lot of that down. That's a handy way of doing it instead of doing it the other way around upside down because you kind of have a little bit more control of where the ink goes. Yeah. And I love using several shades of the same colour, different layer. It looks like you've layered them. Gives you that lovely bit of texture. The so next thing I want to do is I want to come in with my stamps. And I'm using this. It's a stamp that I also purchased recently on Timu and the Little Feather stamp. It's um, it's fr it's French writing. It says Paris, and I don't read French, so I'm only hoping that it says something nice. So I'm deciding what color, and I think I'll I'm going to use my Memento, the Tuxedo Black. And I could use the brown. Um. No, I think I'll stick with the black. I'm just going to ink that up. I'm going to pop that there. In the corner. Yeah, another bit there. And just about there, I think. So next I'm going to use the little feather 
I think maybe I'll I'll use the rich cocoa for the feather. Let's remove that not to be confusing it. So what I'm going to do with this actually is I'm just coming in with a bit of scrap paper and I'm going to I just want to get maybe some second generation stamping going on here so that it's in the background. Need to pop my lid back on this, where am I? So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm coming in with this stencil and I mainly want to use the little um, honeycomb kind of background part of it. So I'm going to be using some modeling paste and it's just the one I'm using is by Liquitex. It's just a light modeling paste. Now, I'm going to pop a bit of tape on that just to hold it down. a bit yeah so I'm just holding the car down as well so I'm coming in with that modeling paste and I'm just using it in white now you can you can add colour to that if you want, but I think the white will look nice on this particular background. I don't want the whole background to be filled with the modelling paste. So I'm just going to lift that up. Pop my card back down. I need to give this a wipe as well. And I want to get some up here on the top. Yeah. And it doesn't take an awful amount of this paste, you know, and you can always put out more. Just put out, I always just put out a small bit at a time. 
there's no point in putting a pile of it out and then, you know, well, I can't get it back into that tube. I know if you have the containers, you can pop them back in. That is convenient. But as I can't, I'll just use it bit by bit. Yeah, just want to make sure I get the centers of those little honeycombs shapes filled as well. Just trying to even it out a bit. Yeah, I think that's about it. So now I'm going to remove this again carefully. Yeah, I'm quite happy with that. And I'm going to clean this off quickly because once it goes hard, it's very difficult to remove it. Even though I just soak it in soapy water, but I'm going to remove it anyway. It's best to clean as you go. Again, just coming in, keeping my area that I'm working on clean. And I want to make this completely dry as well. So I'm coming back in with my, with my heat gun. And I can remove this off the top now. There we go. straighten that out a bit and I'm loving the way that the paste kind of has taken on the colour behind of the green but you've still got the white in the areas that you know the negative spaces so I'm quite pleased with that so I've cut out this um, butterfly with one of my dies and I'm going to be using that as a center piece, but I want to put some color in it. I don't want to use it completely white. So I have this um, smoked pearl. It's a nice dark color. And I'm gonna come in, let's see. I'm just going to pop some ink onto my brush there. It's a lovely deep color that. And I'm just going to pop some kind of here and there. Get a nice bit of that dark color down. And then I'm coming back in with my spa blue. And the, the negative spaces, the white spaces on that, I'm going to pop some of that down there also. Yeah, liking that. So just 
just want to move that out of my way. And as this, well, as it's a multi, a mixed media, sorry, as it's a mixed media card, I think I'm going to go ahead and put some embossing ink on this. Oh, I'm going to be using my Cosmic Shimmer and it's just the clear, what's it called, Detail Clear, it's just a clear embossing powder, but it should give this a nice, you know, a bit, make it stand out, make the colours deeper. So I'm going to come in with my Versamark and I'm just going to pop that down over it. And I'm going to need a tweezers for this. Let's see. I just want to pop that down over the Versamark. Pop that back into the container. And I'm just going to melt that when he's done. has given it this beautiful shine but it's also given it some structure you know it feels a lot harder now and I'm kind of thinking maybe I should have came and put a bit of ink on the back which I think I might do I'm just going to pop a bit of that smoked pearl even just on the outsides of it you won't really see the the base. Just take the white away really. Yeah. So if you do get kind of a glimpse of the underneath it won't look snow white so the next thing I want to do is this is good and dry now I want to pop some double-sided tape onto the back of that so let's see I'm coming in with my 5x7 card base and I had cut this down previously to the correct size. So there we are. 
So that heavy card stock is going to give my mixed media image a bit of structure and you know it's just going to keep it in place and I think that feels dry. Yeah. So next thing I want to do is come with my butterfly and also let's see have a few leaves here that I cut out also with my with a dye and I have these two little sentiment cuts, I guess it would call them. But I want to put some ink down on these leaves. And for that, I think I'm going to use the grasshopper. So literally, this is what I'm doing with it. I don't want it to be just one color, you know, just want it to be a bit of variation there. So that's enough, quick and easy. Let's give this a wipe off. And with these, what I want to do is, I want to come in with these sentiments. And I think sending love your way is going to be one. And let's see, how long are they? Find your wings and fly. Yeah, it's appropriate with the butterfly, I think, isn't it? So what do I want to ink them up with? I'm going to come back in with my, my Memento Tuxedo Black. This one says, sending love your way. There we are. So I just want to decide where everything is going to go. Um, let's see. Pop a bit of ink on this anyway. Sorry, I'm going to pop a bit of glue on this. I'm going to be using the glossy accents. And I'm thinking maybe there.
few down there. So there we go. I'm very, very pleased with the way that turned out. And it's a lovely venture to give a go if you haven't already. There's no right or wrong with mixed media. You can just try and, you know, even if you make mistakes, it's very easy to cover up. You just keep going. I think that's lovely. So I hope you've enjoyed watching and if you have, please like and subscribe and thanks as always for tuning in.